G'day guys, welcome back to part three of our SLRV Adventurer 4x4 build. As you can see here, we're at a big milestone. This is the part where our customers usually get very excited because they can see the vehicle coming together. Uh, we've got our body built here, a full composite uh, construction, and it's sitting on our, uh, our torsion-free chassis. Now, when we're talking body and torsion-free chassis, we have to go back pretty much to our last video when we spoke about suspension. It all interrelates. So we spoke about our new spring sets here. We spoke about our king shockies here and how they help our ride. Now, what most people don't realize on a ladder frame truck is that most of our articulation doesn't come from our suspension. It comes from the truck's ability to twist that ladder frame chassis and keep those wheels in contact with the ground. When that happens, and especially with a composite uh, body, uh, if we had a solid mounted body on there, as you can imagine, it would just break apart. So we have to overcome that with some engineering. So to do that, we use a three-point torsion-free chassis. Now, there's a few ways of doing a, uh, a subframe. One way that a lot of people use is a series of springs. Um, and as the truck chassis twists, those springs will compress, lift the body off the, uh, or the tray off the chassis, and take away some force. But the problem with that is, as the spring is compressed, uh, there is still force introduced into the subframe and then up into the body. So we could still have some issues. So the way we do it here, we use that full torsion free uh, subframe. We have a fixed member over the axles and the front and rear have a main beam that are able to pivot on a, on a central bolt. So that then takes all the force off the body um, and we have no chance of cracking it uh, under, under that torsional twist. Um, you can have a look in here. This here is our, our, our rear uh, beam here with a uh, pivot point there. And we have the same one up the front. Now from, the, uh, from where that, that fixed beam is over the axle um, and in between the suspension, that's where you'll have the least amount of twist in the chassis. It's, it's almost solid. The further you go forward, the more that chassis will twist and allow those front wheels to drop down into, uh, into holes and into your terrain. Um, same at the back, doesn't move as much, but it's still absolutely vital. So let's go around to the, uh, to the truck here. We'll hop in it, we'll drive it up a little rock, um, and, and we'll flex that frame and show you what that's all about. All right. All right, let's drive this up this little rock here and we'll have a look at the, uh, the difference in angle from our truck body to the, uh, to the rear composite body on the back and we'll see how much it twists up. So you can see there we've got, uh, we've got quite an angle um, what's effectively happened is that the uh, front wheels have then dropped down into a, uh, into a hole as such. Um, that rear body is going to stay parallel with the, uh, with the rear suspension um, and allows that truck chassis underneath to twist up without any force on that body. Yeah. Let's back that one up and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the body next. Now, just like the chassis, there's a few ways to make a body. So one way is to use an internal frame and a cladded skin over the top, um, some insulation in between. Um, this way we can, uh, we can get condensation inside because we can create a cold bridge from the outside to the inside. It's the way we uh, like to do it. We use a full composite uh, panel, so we have no frame in it. Um, and we're, we're encapsulating that body. It's, a, it's an insulated box so that everything inside it, including the, uh, the owners, um, all our water, um, basically every, everything that's in there is, uh, is insulated from the outside. Now, a couple of uh, important features of the body. The Adventure is made out of a 30 mil composite panel. It uses a highest quality Swedish core, uh, fully infused panel gel coated both sides. We'll get into a little bit more detail of that in a minute. 
uh, the rest of the body. One very important thing up here is we have a curved roof. So instead of like a flat roof and people put their air cons on it, sinks down, all the water comes into it. We have a fully curved roof for runoff, adds a heap of strength into it. When we put our services, our air con, our vents up there, we have no, uh, the water can't run into it. It all runs off the side, so we, uh, we have zero leaks up there. Uh, the other important thing here, um, we have a, a, a cutaway for our departure angle and that works in with our, uh, our rear boxes here um, so we don't get hung up. All right, here we are inside the Adventurer body. Uh, internal dimensions of this are four and a half metres um, by 2.2 metres. Um, we're going to transform this into an absolutely amazing living space. So uh, we have plenty of couples out there on the road that actually live in this machine. Um, and we've got a brand new layout that, uh, that we'll follow this through and, uh, and release to you as well. So new layout features a huge rear boot, um, which is absolutely vital for people that are on the road for months or in fact living in it. A huge um, U-shaped lounge, club lounge like we've always had. A north-south electric queen bed. This is a new one for, uh, for this vehicle and um, we've listened to our uh, customers and everyone out there and that's one feature that um, everyone's um, wanted to have. It's been uh, quite a journey on design to, to make that happen in this vehicle but um, we've come through and the new layout's just amazing. Um, again we still uh, retain the galley kitchen, um, all our services there, drawer fridge, meal oven, convection, um, uh, induction cooktop, um, beautiful big uh, stainless steel sink, um, pantry area and then we're going to go up the front and we have a full ensuite again um, and that's something pretty special so we'll get to all that a little bit later. So let's get into a little bit about the composite panel that we use. Now there are a lot of ways to make composite panels, a lot of different materials. Um, I guess one of the most common ways and it's fairly cost effective is to use a, um, like a polystyrene core um, and pre-gel coated and pre uh, um, rolls of skin. So those skins are, are laid out, um, your, your cores hot glued onto that, another hot glue layer and then another skin on top and it's pressed to create your panel. So a couple of things with that, um, your poly core, not the, the, the um, highest level of insulation but your biggest problem with these sorts of panels is that if you get an air bubble uh, under one of those skins, down the sun, the air expands. Once you start, uh, um, that air bubble starts increasing in size, there's really no way to stop it. So um, here at SLRV, we use the best of the best um, and the best uh, techniques to make our panels uh, so that that doesn't happen. So what you'll see here, gel coated panel inside and outside. We've got a core that comes out of Sweden here. It's a PVC core and it's drilled every 20 centimeters square. Now the process for building this panel is uh, called infusion. So that's similar to way, you know, um, boat building techniques and, and how they do it. So the way that works is this panel is laid up on a, uh, a full fiberglass molded table. Gel coat is sprayed, fiberglass laid out. This core goes on next and then another layer of fiberglass on top. This all goes under a silicon bag, under vacuum, uh, resin is released and that's brought in there under vacuum through some media, covers that top layer of fiberglass, it goes down through all these holes and wets out the bottom layer of the panel. So that's then left under vacuum to cure and what you're left with is that these two skins that are joined with these resin tubes every 20 mil square. So that's going to, uh, you know, negate having a, a, a bubble in there or letting a bubble um, expand. That they're, they're in fact holding those skins together. Now you'll see in here also we have a 30 mil fiberglass composite panel for your floor. Gives you great insulation from the cold up underneath. Uh, the vehicle is fully sealed inside to keep dust out. Uh, we also have a crawl through, um, which is a flexible bellow, um, connecting the body to the cab. So last stage of the body here, we've capped our vehicle with all our edging. We've run our seals uh, all the way around. They still get capped on these corners. Um, but basically from there, uh, we'll move into the next stage. We'll put all our pre-wiring in, our plumbing, which is all run inside. Um, and uh, we'll follow that up on the next video. So if you're enjoying these, please, uh, please like them. Um, 
subscribe so you can uh, keep up with all these and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.